Hey guys, my name's Holly Baxter and this is Lane Norton. And I'm dead. And he's really dead today. <laughs> so we're going to uh, recap uh, last week's reverse diet. Um, he's going to tell you what's wrong with him and I'm going to elaborate on my poor experience last week of why I was feeling dead. Um, I didn't get real sick in Thailand. I just got back to the US and got sick. Yeah, right. So uh, let's... Sam and Ella, you can kiss my fucking ass. <laughs> This poor guy's been up all night uh, throwing up, so uh, yeah, a little bit of sympathy, bit of sympathy, bit of love for you today. <laughs> That's the most sympathy I've gotten in the last couple yeah, hours. Like, stay away. <laughs> so last week uh, we were still in Thailand, so I'm going to talk about um, how the final week of traveling went so far as sticking to my reverse, uh, what happened, um, what's changed, and I guess what the plan is for this week. So. Um, on Tuesday of last week, um, I picked up a really lovely stomach bug from Thailand. The Thai cleanse. The Thai cleanse or the Bali belly. If you're in Bali, I think it's the same thing. It's really terrible. Um, so I managed to last two weeks without having any any problems. And then we had some Coke at a restaurant. The ice right? water. And we, we think that the, the ice was dodgy ice. I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, I was like- Initiating the dumping problem. syndrome. <laughs> So I actually struggled to go to the bathroom for two full days. I said to Lane, like, if I don't go to the toilet, I'm literally gonna explode. Holly is actually like a newborn. So if she is fed, not bloated, and not constipated, she's a very, very happy person. <laughs> if she's one of those three, if she's hungry, not, to, oh, so, oh, sorry, sleep too. Sleep, sleep, So sleep. if she hasn't had sleep, or she's bloated, or she hasn't been fed, or any combination of those. <laughs> She'd be very angry. So she was very angry last week. Yeah, so I'm feeling good now. You can do your turn to me. It's like, hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so um, during that time, I also found out that uh, I was not allowed to train because I've been having some hip injuries. If any of you follow me along on my other social media, you'll probably see me putting up lots of posts about uh, rehabilitation and ways to strengthen your psoas and your core and stretching, things like that. Um, and that is all uh, with the goal of fixing my uh, hip area, I guess. It's been limiting my ability to deadlift at the moment. So Andres kind of said last week, he's my coach. Um, he's a strength cave. If you want to go look him up, check him out. Um, he said no training for a full week. So I'm just like, ah, how do I do this? Yeah, I, told, I, told him, uh, I told him that it's impossible for her not to train. So. Uh, he gave her some little stuff she could do. Yeah, so I've been doing all my rehab and walking every day. Um, so that's something that, to consider like for this reverse diet. Like, oh my gosh, now I can't train. So what's going to happen with my body weight when I'm meant to be you know, doing a set amount of training each week uh, and adhering to um, specific macronutrient targets and calories? So because this is a reverse diet, uh, I didn't want to reduce my macros. Even though the old Holly might have been like, oh, you know, I'm not training. I might pull back my my macros by 10 or 15% to accommodate the changes in any energy expenditure during the day. I was like, you know what, I really want to get my macros up to a good point before I start competing. So no, I'm just going to keep them the same and we'll, we'll just see how I go. And what happened? the great news was nothing actually happened. In fact, I have lost weight again this week. So uh, my average weigh in uh, this week is actually 66.5. Okay. So previously, um, uh, we had a week Maybe where the word you're searching for is Lane was right. <laughs> <laughs> I know this works. I know it works. It's just really difficult. Like when you're doing yourself. it yourself. Um, like we coach do this all the time, but you somehow you just go, oh, maybe that won't happen with me and I'll be one of the people that gains all this weight. But it's been really good. So um, I had a weigh in a few weeks ago at 67.1 or 2, which is about the highest I got. Um, I but you were also close to your period. I was, and, yeah. Yeah, there's other things. There's other factors to make to make my weight go up. Um, but yeah, I'm back down to sixty six point um, six or sixty six point five this week, um, and yeah, I'm feeling feeling really good. So to summarize my macros, so for the last seven days, I've been following one sixty five protein, uh, one eighty carbohydrate. Still not very high, but better than what it was. Uh, and 57 um, grams of fat. So I think considering this week mm -hmm. um, uh, and the no weight gain, in fact weight loss, I think you'd be relatively aggressive. I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, pretty aggressive. I want I really want to get to 200 consistently. <laughs> so for carbohydrate. 
So I think I'm actually going to take my carbohydrates up by about 15 this week. So I'll be aiming for a 195. Uh, and I'll probably take my fats up to 60. So, um, Kabira, if you want to come around here, I'll Make show you guys, um, kind of what actually happened throughout the week. With Make it macros. rain with saccharides. <laughs> we'll go 195. I'm just looking in here, guys, if you want to look that up. 195, 60. Oh, you are getting the best. That's good. And 165. So you can see here my calories are up to 1947. So that's just under a hundred uh, calorie increase. And where did you start at? Start back down here at 14 um, for my reverse. Yeah, 14, 1459 was the lowest. So, we're so a lot of you guys, they, add, they say, you're only increasing, how do you only increase five grams of carbs in a week? That's, that's nothing. Well, here it is. it's very small, but when you've done that over, you know, nine weeks, I mean, now her macros look completely different. Yeah. And you can see here, look, look at the weight column. Like my weight has been consistently, here's the end of my fat loss diet at 1459, 66.2 was my weight. Um, 66, 66, 66, 66, 66, 66. There's one little 67 in here, 66.3. And then this week, 66.5. So like my weight has not changed and I've increased 500 calories. Now that's a full meal, like well over a meal and an extra snack. So. My food flexibility right now is so much better than what it was. So, um, super happy about that. Now, the other thing I want to show you guys is my adherence to my targets this week. So, um, because we were traveling, um, we were on a plane for two days straight. Um, and the foods um, that are provided to you are, are usually very low in, in protein. So, um, you'll be able to see here while we're traveling, um, my protein intake is actually right down. So I'll go through my compliance with you. So if you look here last Tuesday, um, these are my actual intakes. So my target for protein is 165 and I only hit 119 on that day. But you can see here my carbs are right up 196, um, whereas my target was 180. But if we look at my calories overall, I'm actually well below my target. So my target, um, is here 1893 but i only hit 16 because my protein was so down so that's a very non-compliant day given i don't believe i trained that day um and obviously we were probably rushing around very busy so maybe i could have afforded to um to reduce my macros a little bit because i wasn't training um you can see here the next day again another really low protein day but then it starts to pick back up as I try to find myself some protein um, during those periods of travel. And then I kind of get back into my groove when we landed on the weekend. So 158, 168. So that's much better. So you can see here, my average is 142. Um, and if we look over on this column here, my compliance to my calories overall was 95%. Now, um, I usually like to stay within around 3% uh, of my calorie target to make sure that I'm actually uh, on point. Um, but then if I look at my compliance to protein, it was really low. So it was only 86% uh, compliant this week. So I only had like 142, should have been 165. So um, there are gonna be some negative consequences um, to this. Um, if I continued to have a low protein diet, I probably would start to see a little bit of muscle atrophy over time. This is only one week. So no, that's not a low protein diet. Well, it's, it's low for what I'm used to. So yeah, maybe, maybe not. Um, I'm still probably exceeding my, you know, threshold of requirements for, um, for protein. So yeah, I would just prefer to have a high protein diet because I like protein foods. Uh, my compliance to my carbs and fats overall across the course of the week I have actually exceeded them by about 3%. So that's about the upper limit of where I would want to be. So um, I would say like if, if I was talking to a client about this, that they're pretty adherent. Um, I have fallen a little bit short with my calories overall, but to give You've me some- You've been consistently short. I've, and I have been consistently short, yes. Over yeah, the course. Life. <laughs> I'm not trying to do that, but yes. The, the point is I am still, progressively coming up every week. That's right. But I'm so not quite hitting it. If you're 5% short every week and you're consistently 5% short, 
Yeah. Maybe you're not hitting that, but you're... you're no, but I'm, I'm going, going up, up yeah. all the same. So, um, yeah, given I was a little bit under... The problem would become if you would, you know, low by 5% one week, exceeded by 5% the next week. Then low and low, yeah. No, I've around. always been a little bit like 30 or 40 calories shy on average every day. So, yeah, um, because I wasn't training as much, um, I think that... You know, that's probably why my weight has stayed pretty much the same. Decrease mm -hmm. calories, but also decrease uh, energy expenditure from training. So, I don't yeah. think so, because like you said, you're always that about that, about short on calories. And your energy expenditure went down from normal. So I would say that's actually a pretty good sign. So you think my metabolism actually is increasing? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm really nervous because I'm always at that 200 gram of carb <laughs> mark. So, 69 kilos. And, and I, uh, yeah, I know, I'll be a, a hippopotamus this week. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my plan for training this week, I've been told no training until Wednesday. So uh, I've got until tomorrow and then I have some pretty intense um, singles and doubles for my powerlifting meet, which is in two weeks now. It's getting very, very close. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm very excited to see uh, how that goes. And yeah, the increase in calories is good. I feel like I've got a lot of strength and a lot of energy when I'm training at the moment. So bring it on. <laughs> Catch you guys next week. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you soon. Bye.